Good morning, everyone. In the previous presentation, we discussed about the concept that is classification of tissues is related to the tissues. And in this presentation, we continue that uh, part the tissues, plant tissues. Plant tissues. We already studied about the classification of the plant tissues, that is meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue as well as the types of the meristematic tissue and permanent tissue and its classification, we are familiar. Then, first is what are tissues? What is tissue? Okay, we are already familiar with what is cell. Cell is the structural and functional basic unit of the living organisms. Then what about tissues? Okay, when we ask the question regarding what is tissue, you just write tissue means it is a group of cells. Okay? But the definition, actual definition of the tissue is the group of group of similar cells. Group of similar cells having same structure, structure and origin, same structure and origin perform perform similar functions. This is the actual definition of the tissue. Tissue means the group of similar cells that have the same structure and origin and perform a similar function. Then, what we call for the study of tissue? Okay, you are already familiar what we call for the study of uh, cell, the cytology. But here, the study of tissue is called histology. Histology is a branch of biology which deals with the study of tissue. The study of tissues is called histology. Then, I should enter the particular concept that is meristematic tissue. It is the basic tissue on the plants, present only in plants. It is meristematic tissue. The main function of the meristematic tissue is it causes the growth. Growth is a life process. Then how it causes growth? Okay. By the rapid cell division. The main property or characteristic of the meristematic tissue is they undergo rapid cell division. Then what is the definition for the meristematic tissue? The tissue is nothing but the group of cells. The particular type of group of cells they have the rapid cell division and causes the growth. This is the definition for the meristematic tissue. Then what is the nature? What is the nature of meristematic tissue? Similar cells, a group of similar cells that causes growth by rapid division rapid division and then they are compactly arranged they are compactly arranged compact arrangement uh, the cells are very uh, close to each other and there is no space between the cells it is compact, compactly arranged without Intercellular spaces. Intercellular spaces. There is no intercellular spaces. The cells are compactly arranged. Then cell wall. What about the cell wall? Cell wall is very thin and it is made up of cellulose. You are already familiar with the cell wall components that is cellulose, semicellulose, pectin, lignin, suberin, etc. But here in meristematic tissue, the cell wall is 
thin and it is made up of a component which is cellulose. Then vacuoles. Either vacuoles are present or absent in the meristematic tissue. Here in meristematic tissue, vacuoles are may be small or absent. If they are present, they are small. Otherwise, they are absent. Then they have dense cytoplasm. Cell is completely filled with the cytoplasm, that is protoplasm. Okay, these are the characteristics of the meristematic tissue. Nature, uh, cell wall, what their alignment and the shape. And again, uh, related to the shape, they may be rectangular, spherical, oval. Or polygon. Okay. They may be in different shape, rectangular, spherical, oval, or polygon, whatever the shape, but there is no intercellular space. The cells are compactly arranged. And this is regarding the nature of the meristematic tissue. Whatever the growth is caused in a plant is caused by the meristematic tissue. They have the capacity to divide rapidly. And this rapid division causes the growth of the plant body. Okay, and next uh, types of the meristematic tissue. And the next concept is types of meristematic tissue. What are the types and where they are present and what are the function. In the types of meristematic tissue, you are already familiar with the types. And the first one is apical meristem. Apical meristem. Lateral meristem. And third one, intercalary meristem. Okay, these are the types of the meristematic tissue: apical meristem, lateral meristem, and intercalary meristem. And where they are present, and what are the functions of the meristematic tissue? And first one is apical meristem. This apical meristem is present at the tip of shoot. This apical meristem is present at the tip of the shoot and root, and it causes the length of the plant wall. It helps to increase the length of the plant wall. In other words, it is called a primary growth. Primary growth. It causes the tallness of the plant wall. Apical meristem and it is present at the tip of the shoot. Shoot is nothing but a stem tip or branches tip. Okay, and root, the tip of the root also is present. It helps in the elongation of the shoot as well as the root. And next one is lateral meristem and it is present side to side of the plant. On either side of the plant body, lateral meristem is present and it causes the width of the plant body. Width of the plant, or in other words, it is called it increases the girth of the girth of the plant, the widening of the plant wall, and it is called the secondary growth. Secondary growth. Okay, this is regarding the lateral meristem. It is present side to side of the plant body, and uh, it increases the width of the plant body or girth of the plant body, and it is secondary growth. And next one is intercalary meristem, where it is present, and it is present at the base of the leaves. So then, at the base of the leaves, or internal, internal of the plant body. And what is the function of the intercalary meristem? And it causes the branching. It causes the branching of the plant body. That are the new twigs are formed by the stem is mainly due to the intercalary meristem. Okay, here, apical meristem, consider the plant body. Okay. Apical meristem is present at the tip, it is apical. And lateral meristem, 
it is present on either side of the plant body causes grip this lateral lateral medicine and here intercalary medicine stem consists number of nodes and internodes it is present at the internode internodes and it causes the branching of the twigs and this is regarding the types of the meristematic tissue and where they are present and what are the functions i will repeat once again apical meristem it is present at the tip of the shoot the root it causes the primary growth that is length of the plant body lateral meristem it is present side to side it causes the width of the or uh, width of the plant body increases the secondary growth intercalary meristem it is present at the base of the leaves or internodal region it causes the branching of the twigs the new twigs are formed by the intercalary meristem and this is regarding the meristematic tissue thank you